Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. And yesterday I just finished the draft for Meridian Maps number four, the zero draft. The outline had more words than my actual draft did. It's fine. And before I start working on Meridian Maps five, I figured that I was in need of like, a writing reset of sorts. Just kind of get the inspiration flowing in a different way, switch it up a little bit. So I'm gonna go through a series of exercises work on some prompts, do some really dumb things in the name of fun, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> in the name of like a writing inspiration reset. Okay, so the things we're gonna need, something to write with, that has my collection of pens, a notebook, my computer, and a sleep mask. It's not a bra, I don't know why people think that when they see it. <laughs> this has the little room for the eyes so that when you're in your rim cycle, it's not like restricting you. Okay. There were some prompts I saw over on Discord that I'd like to use. I'd actually like to use Discord more. So I'm gonna try and use the Sprint bot over there. And then Sarah from I Got A Blank Page challenged me to write blindfolded. Now I'm pretty sure when she did it, she hand wrote her stuff, but I'm gonna try both. I'm gonna try handwriting blindfolded and just typing blindfolded. So basically there should be about like three or four prompts in all that we're gonna try. Let's frickin' do it. I mean, first things first, I need to open up Discord. Because I originally saw a prompt here that I thought was so funny. Okay, this is part of what inspired this. Ah, here we go, by Margaret. Well, you said we needed a reasonable adult, so we kidnapped one. A little over two weeks later, I'm doing it. <laughs> now here's the question. Do I actually know how to use the Sprinto bot? Sprint for 10 at 40 and time 50. It is 9.38 right now. Enter. I hope I did it wrong. <gasps> Sprint. <laughs> Oh no! All right, 15 minutes, I guess. <laughs> Yay. I joined with zero starting words. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. The spurt begins, 15 minutes, time to write. Ah! Okay, first off. Zara gave me the link for the instructions in the bot, but also I'm currently at 156 words minus the prompt at the top. I actually decided I wanted to try and end closer with the prompt. So I'm like kind of working my way backwards. This is something that I think is gonna be really interesting for whenever I do this blindfolded because it will be almost impossible to like go through the paragraphs in the jumbled way that I usually write. You kind of have to do it this way. So this is actually gonna work out better than I thought. <laughs> I mean, I was just thinking I'll make fun of my own handwriting worse than I already do. But now this is actually going to be like testing me in a different way. Anyways, I should get back to it. Oh, okay, so time's up. I have three minutes to give what my word count was. Interesting. How many is that? 260, okay. Word count, 260. Yay! Results shortly, just me. <laughs> Aw, I got a gold medal. Or a gold trophy. Look at that, well that's adorable. 260 words, 17 words per minute. You must not think that feeling is everything. Art is nothing without form. Well, I actually thought this turned out really cute. It is giving me a lot of, um, what was it? Is it the Kids Next Door vibes? You know, vaguely spy kids. What am I thinking of? Code name Kids Next Door, yeah. Anyways, that's what I was going for and it was actually pretty fun. Let me go ahead and troll some of the other discords I'm in and see if they have writing prompts too. Author tubers. Prompts, oh, okay. This is forever ago, but Spetsnaz had a sunset picture so maybe i'll try a little bit more description since that's something i often need to do every once in a while anyways i'm also going to try sarah's blindfolded challenge how am i gonna set this up let's see duke is being a cute little co-writer oh i think i need to set something that'll do volume oh i was watching Mike's mic glass. Now that I'm thinking about this, should I do a picture when I can't look up and reference the picture? <gasps> Ooh, okay. Maybe I'll do, this could be like a memory test too. So I will 
look at the picture, do my best to describe it, and I can't reference it back. <sighs> Jeez, let's get my pen out. Let's go with a red. Okay, so you can see a um, power line or a telephone line, a little bit of like an old country kind of gate. It almost looks kind of Texas-y since it's like grass that's both like alive and dead. And then there's like kind of spiky trees in the back. I know nothing about trees and plants. Okay, let's freaking do this. I should have thought of this before. Five minutes trying to describe the scene. Let's do this. We can do this. I can do this. You can do this. Okay. It's focusing on me, but it's fine. Start. Ugh. Oh gosh. Okay. I'm going to help myself find the page first. Oh no. I already regret. Oh, did I rip it? Oh no. It's fine. Should I do cursive or print? Oh no. Oh shoot. Oops. <laughs> can't cross through stuff. Can't even see it. <laughs> What's good? I was running out of page. <laughs> I mean, you know what? That's actually not as bad as I thought somehow. I mean, this definitely could have been worse. I did actually like closing my eyes to do that. So originally I had planned to just describe the scene and I did do that. Not that you can read it to tell. But I also gave myself a main character and um, she got cancer and so she moved out to the farm to fulfill like one of her life dreams anyways. And so it's her kind of describing this. She talks about her cats and the birds that are chirping on those trees. And she likes to think of them as her pets, like her cats that come and go. And then soaking up the warmth of the sun. And then she describes the fading. I, you know, it was not what I expected. I like it better than I expected. Again, not that I could actually read any of this. Can I read it? The sun was setting on <laughs> Francine Farm. They moved out to the country when they learned she had cancer. It's a pretty solid like opening two sentences. And then this is when we get to the, the jumble where I wrote like multiple lines over each other. I do think I also kept a better visual with my eyes closed instead of staring at the blank screen. I actually think closing my eyes allowed some amount of imagination to creep through, which is why rather than just describing it, it actually turned into somewhat of a story with characters. So, cool. <laughs> and I wanna do one final one. No, he's just chilling. I think we're gonna go um, sit outside while we do it. All right, so now I just have to find the third prompt. I think I'm gonna go back to the other Discord. Ooh, okay, from Writative. 48 captive warriors and they chose you three. Cerritos and I looked around, but there was no one else present. Ho oh, ho. One, two, go. Oh I realized something. So one of my favorite NaNoWriMo hacks when you don't wanna go back and like delete any of your words, you wanna make sure you keep them, is to change the words to white. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to write the words all in white. Yes. If you are someone that struggles with editing all of your work, just so easy, one button. We're gonna try this again. Duke is judging me. <laughs> Five minutes. Go. Okay. Duke has moved all the way over there. <laughs> so you can see where my cursor is at, where it's blinking. Now it is time to go back and change it to black so that we can read it. I do want to call your attention to this shoot what? When I realized I'd gone off in a tangent of stuff that wasn't gonna make sense, just like this one. No, gah. Oh no, you can already see a typo. There's probably a lot of them. But I actually kind of like where I went with this. I was able to include like 
some mythos of this made up world. It's always fun to see what you can hint at in such a short amount of time. I got 212 words in those five minutes and like, see I didn't name them, but the invisibles. So the main character, the eye, Sarita's an eye looked around. The eye was calm and cool and collected and clearly doesn't believe that an invisible exists, but Cerritos starts freaking out, more scared of the invisible being potentially than the ones that captured them. So it's just like, I already kind of have some interesting dynamics. That was so fun. File, save, I actually kind of want to keep these. Oh, what a good puppy he is. Well, all right, well, that is it. I know this was a little bit of a different video, but um, I think this reset was really nice, actually. This is one of those that as we all have really big dreams and goals, and then we inevitably want to start putting like kind of calendar items on those dreams and goals. You know, sometimes it's nice to have a break. That was kind of the point of my write anything days. And I think this sort of served the same purpose, but in just like an hour. And that was really nice. It's just getting to play with your imagination with no necessarily other intent to do anything else. Kind of switch up your routine, switch up the topics, and yeah. This was great. <laughs> Please do comment down below. Let me know if you like to write with writing prompts. Let me know if you also have your own sort of hacks to keep yourself from editing your words anytime, but also during NaNoWriMo or just any kind of little writing hacks you have. Like there's the comic songs hack. So yeah, I would just like to know. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all very soon with the new video. Bye. I also didn't realize that this is actually the last video that will be going up this month. I've been pre-filming so much for my upcoming move. So I just wanted to say thank you so much to some of my new patrons, Phoebe, Savvy Witch Bolts, Allison987, Zoe Both, Priscilla Basilio, Georgina Staley, Al Piraway, Azur, Joanna Farr, Sarah Aston, Benjamin T. Milnes, Radu Arga, Eva Wrights, and N.S. Chris. Y'all are awesome and I hope this video of Duke makes up for my mistake. Bye.